Hello friends, welcome to Squared Plans. I'm Stephanie and today we're going to be setting up our faith planners for the month of June. And I've got some washi tape here, ready to go, as well as these sticker books which I'll pull from. So I decided to do a self-control scripture study this month just to kind of help me refocus myself and make better decisions for my health and well-being and just say no to all of the temptations of mainly sugar and laziness, just all those things that I'm, you know, struggling with right now. So I thought that would be a good study for the next month. I'm going to write down the scriptures as they were, were listed there on the sheet, and then above them I'll put a little summary each day from what I read and try to make it more applicable to my life. For the theme this month, I am going to pretty much work mainly with pink and yellow as the color scheme and then bring in the watercolor florals I have in a few older Happy Planner books. I really like these florals a lot and I've used them in a multitude of spreads in the past, but I've taken out pretty much all of the variety of color and so now I'm limited to some extent to just these really bold pinks and some that are like slightly coral colored but mainly it's like pink, very bold pink flowers left over. So I'm going to try to work with those. I do have a few accents with yellow in both the flowers and in a couple of extra standalone flowers in yellow. So I'll try to bring that in as we go. I'm just going to go ahead and start off using these florals in those empty box spaces. I also already pulled in a box sticker from the Happy and Kind Faith sticker book and put that in the corner. These florals are mainly in the 1234, I think it's Today's Your Day sticker book, the Floral Memory sticker book, and there are a few in the, I think, Fun Floral sticker book as well. Kind of nice to use up some of these older stickers. I have been finding that I'm just running low on decor type stickers from my stash. I have a lot of sticker books and I really hate not using them up, but I feel like I have so many functional stickers and no real decor to make a cohesive spread. So I'm waffling back and forth on whether I'm going to purchase more sticker books or Try to look for decor only sticker sheets from small shops, that kind of thing. I know that's a little bit off topic with the faith planner here, but if you have any suggestions as far as really good decor small shops, uh, leave them in the comments below. I'd be interested to see what you guys have really liked and who you frequent as far as small shops, sticker shops. I tend not to spend very much on stickers, so that's why I haven't tried too many sticker shops in the past, but I am definitely starting to warm up to the idea just because I don't need any more full sticker books with wasted stickers. So just trying to make little collages here, like I said. Mainly pink is the only color that I have left in those watercolor florals with a few exceptions of some purple ones and some yellow. And I think for this theme we're going to stick mainly with the pinks accented with the yellow, but that's going to be it. No, no purple, no deeper tones, just because I have such an abundance of these pink floral stickers and not really enough to do a full spread with anything else. This is a good style to use these stickers on as well because I'm going to be doing five full spreads here with the same decor. It's nice to have a lot to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and slide these guys off of the wax paper. Get those on there and then I remembered I wanted to white out the lines, which sometimes I forget. And then I was like, oh, I think I want to do the bottom too. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. 
And I'm using my Sakura Jelly Roll White Opaque Pen to do that fine line white out type thing. And it's just, it, it's not made specifically for whiting things out, but it works just perfectly on fine lines, covers them, and makes the decor just look a lot better, a lot cleaner. So I'm trimming out those leaves now. And then I put in one of the little banners I pulled from the Happy and Kind sticker book. And I am going back in there and we'll start laying those in. So this is just a little added color to the spread. And basically I'll use that for the prompt for each day's scripture reading. I didn't do any of it on camera, but basically I'll just write in the scriptures for the beginning of the month. And then, like I said, on the day, I will write in what I gathered from the scripture reading. So I'm sticking with those pink and coral colors for the most part with a little bit of yellow. Kind of creating a slight ombre look here. Best I can with what I have at my disposal. I will need to do some adjusting here in a minute. Didn't quite think about it there in the corner, with that circle sticker. I don't want to cover up the quote, so I had to move that in a little bit. And I want the colors to fade into each other a little bit better, so I'm just going to Switch those two out. And one more down here at the bottom. And I think that'll work. And I like to put whatever the prompt is for the month here on the side. So self-control, just kind of pencil that in. And then I will just grab my Tombow brush pen here. Just want to sample it first, make sure it's a good shade of pink. And then I will go ahead and pen it in. My brush lettering has improved for sure, but it's still a little bit rough. It's not as smooth as it could be, so. It's good that I have this planner to keep practicing and kind of refining my technique. Right now I am starting the first layout of the month. And there are four weeks in this part of my planner. So I decided I'm gonna use these four box stickers for the kind of quote each week and just see if there's anything else I want to bring in outside of the florals. I had a couple of different ideas for how I wanted the spread to go. One of which was to have them actually be like a floral cluster right in the center of each side of the page. And I think that would have been cute, but I don't know. I just kind of like changed my mind decided I wanted a little bit more asymmetry especially because the this week box really doesn't get used at all so it's a really good spot to put heavier decor I'm gonna go ahead and plan for that I brought in another sheet of wax paper so that I could start pre-planning for the other spreads as I go and I flip through the pages Pulling out some of those bigger stickers as anchors for each side. And like I said, I want to bring in some pops of yellow.
And here are two of those yellow florals I mentioned that I had in my stash. I think I have one other one that's, yeah, like a corner piece that I cut out from a previous spread and saved, luckily, so I'd have a little bit of extra yellow here. Now I'm just going through some of the smaller florals and working them together into little clusters in the upper left and the lower right. Try not to put the colors that are too similar right next to each other. So if I have already a couple of hot pink ones, maybe ones with more of an orange tone or a more purple tone, just so that there's a little bit of variety in each cluster. That's kind of how it's going to go on all of the spreads. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just do all of the bottoms for each of the four spreads on this wax paper and kind of work it out ahead of time so I can easily transfer it over all at once and not have to reset up for each spread. So these bottom ones I'm setting up now will be the bottom corners for each spread and then I'll use the top and do the opposite where it's the top corners on the upper half of this spread in particular. Along with trying to vary the colors, I'm also trying to vary the scale of the floral. So it's not all the same size floral right next to each other. Having both small, medium, large together in one space just adds a little bit of freshness and variety and I think it just plays better together overall. I'm going to go ahead and start bringing in those box stickers I said I was going to use there in the upper left on each spread and start bringing in those florals. And if this is your first video with me, I have this quadrant layout that is from my Etsy shop. I have a bunch of different types of layouts, super minimal design, so it's a lot easier for you to decorate them if you choose without having to really cover anything up. This one is the quadrant, like I said, and I use it for lettering a verse of the day from an app I have on my phone called Uversion Bible App. Lettering and Bible study mixed together has been a really great combination for me. It really makes me think about the verse that I'm writing in, uh, interpreting it through the lettering. I do not just like a simple write it out. I try to make it visual. And if you want to see how they turn out at the end of the month, just check out my flip through videos. I put those out there every month and go through not only my faith planner, but my daily health, and social planners each month showing you all the after the pens in case you want to see that and get some ideas. So I'm just putting some final touches here on some of these clusters. Again, trying to add just a tidbit of yellow to each, give that variety. Trying to figure out how best to lay in these box stickers. A little bit trickier than I had thought about when I put them on the wax paper. This box sticker needs to be straight. Some of these edges also need to have things lined up properly, so have to be thoughtful of that.
And then I need to trim out the overlap. And of course, I'm going to save all the pieces that I can for reuse, either in this video or in a future spread layout. So next we're going to go ahead and do the next spread and basically it's just going to go in the same manner. Lay in that box sticker and then move over the cluster. I am trying to use colors that coordinate well with each other from on the top and on the bottom so if the top is heavy in softer pinks then I'll use the bolder pinks down below or vice versa just again for contrast and I had pulled some washi at the beginning of this video but it really doesn't end up being something I use I really thought I would because there's that gold touch in a lot of those box stickers that I thought would be nice to bring in, but in the end it just ends up not working out and I, I just thought it was going to be too much to add in even more on top of these floral pieces that I have. And since the majority of the decor is really focused in on areas where I don't have to actually use the space like here in the this week, it really makes it easy for me to letter and use the full space. I don't feel like it loses much function. Only Sunday seems to be the one that's going to have a little bit more encroaching on my lettering space, but I can work around that once a week, I think, and not have too much trouble. And just filling out a few of these guys, trying to make everything feel, I don't know, full. Again, really trying to bring in some of that yellow on all the pieces. and trimming these guys out. Reusing pieces where I can. And okay. So once I'm done with that, you guys, we will be done, friends. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch. And think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Bye!